Hey, Vaughn community, it's been a long time since I've uh, done a video. I think I start all my videos out that way. You know, I just, I really don't have time to do a lot of videos. You know, I, I just seem to be busy all the time. But, um, you know, I have people contacting me and asking me, you know, hey, what's going on? What are you doing? Do you have any video updates? And, you know, I thank those people a lot. Of, you know, I think of like Rob from Boston and, uh, you know, Aaron, Mr. Bizarro, and, uh, you know, Greeno. People like that text me and say, hey, what's going on? And, or email me or PM me and I'm like, you know, I've just been busy, you know, I don't have a lot of time to get stuff done, but, you know, I do need to do an update, so, um, actually I've been traveling a lot for my job, for, you know, my company, I've been doing a lot of trade shows, the fall seems to be like a heavy trade show season, so, um, that's what I've been up to, basically, in the last five weeks, I've, uh, flown to Las Vegas for a week, did a trade show out there, flew home, back here to Pennsylvania, and uh, was home for about four days. And uh, God love my wife, she's been with me the whole time. She travels with me a lot, which is nice. Uh, so we were home for about four days, flew back out to Las Vegas, did another trade show out there, flew back home. I had uh, about a week and a half, two weeks off. And in that time, I drove to Pittsburgh to see my one daughter, came back home, drove down to Virginia to see my other daughter and my son that lived down there, then back home and then, uh, we uh, flew out to Chicago for a week to do a trade show out there. So I've really been doing a lot of traveling uh, for my company. And I really haven't done much, um, you know, vinyl shopping except for in Chicago. I did go to a, a place called Days Records, which I'm, you know, I have some pictures of it and stuff. But I'm not sure I'm going to get them uploaded because I forgot my cord at work and you know, for my iPhone. And, and I really, tonight's the only I can get this video done because uh, I'm actually home alone tonight. My wife went to a play and I'm kind of here with my dogs. If you guys remember a year ago, I adopted these two Cocker Spaniels. And uh, Hey, Charlie and Maddie, come here. There they come. So here's my dogs. I'm hanging out with them tonight. There's Maddie. There's Charlie. They're just kind of hanging out with me listening to music tonight. Look at Charlie. He's a sad sack of a dog. Poor thing. There's Maddie. Anyway, so me and the dogs are hanging out tonight, and i got to get this video done tonight. And that's what I'm doing. So... Um, in the background tonight to start my video off, about four years ago I was out in Chicago, maybe three or four years ago I went to Dave's Records in Chicago and I picked up uh, the Donna's gold medal which is what's playing right now tonight. So that's what's on the turntable tonight and actually on the video screen is, this is kind of like my Thanksgiving video because I know I'm not going to get a video done between now and next week. So uh, on the video screen tonight is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, the greatest Thanksgiving video of all time. Um, I got the uh, Deluxe Edition, so this is just hilarious stuff. I mean, I'm sure everybody's seen it. If you haven't, get it. It's just so amazingly funny. So anyway, uh, on to a music update. Um, as far as, like, CDs go, I went on this Motorhead kick, since the, uh, or hence the Motorhead shirt. One of my favorite Motorhead albums of all time, at least for the 80s, and I had it on cassette and I wore the crap out of it, was Orgasmatron. I picked it up on CD again, so love that album. Uh, March or Die on CD. And uh, 1916 on CD. There's an autograph on here. I'm not sure who it is. It could be fake for all I know. Could be Wizzo, could be Wurzel, could be Lemmy. I really can't tell. I don't think it's Lemmy. It does look like a W, so it's Wizzo or Wurzel. I'm not which, which sure which one it is. But anyway, so went on this Motorhead kick, got some Motorhead CDs. Um, a buddy of mine gave me uh, Eric Johnson, Alien Love Child Live. And uh, I just love Eric Johnson. I'm a huge Eric Johnson fan, so I was really happy to get that. Um, as far as vinyl goes, um, I mentioned about going to Pittsburgh to see my daughter. Actually, my daughter Amber lives in Cranberry, Pennsylvania, and a little bit west. I think it's west of Cranberry. It's a little town called Rochester, Pennsylvania. And she took me to an antique store there, and I picked up, uh, they had some vinyl there. I picked up a uh, Piper featuring Billy Squire. You know, good, like, uh, you know, rock, kind of hard rocky stuff. So, I always like Billy Squire. So anyway, so now we're back home, we fly to Chicago, now I'm at Dave's Records in Chicago. And I picked up some cool stuff here. Um, I had this on cassette, a band called Wabbit, or Rabbit, I don't know, uh, good 80s AOR stuff. Six piece band, you know, two guitars, bass, vocals, uh, drummer and keyboard player. And I listened to this, it's kind of poppy, you know, AOR, like I said, I had it on cassette, but I never saw it on vinyl. 
So I picked that up. I think it was 99 cents or something. So that was a good find. You can't go to the Windy City and not pick up some blues records, the home of the blues era. Or, uh, so I picked up B.B. King, Live and Well. Cool gatefold. And actually, I had to paint a room this weekend, a bedroom. And I put this on. It actually made me paint better, I think. So great album. If you guys don't have this, pick it up. You know, cool B.B. King stuff. Saw B.B. King live once uh, about probably 10 years ago now. And uh, I think my wife was kind of bored because she's like, all he does is play guitar and not say too much. But that's B.B. King. Okay, so moving on. Now we're getting into what I really like, the metal. And that's, you know, I went to Dave's Records. I found it. So I wanted to go to Reckless Records and didn't have time in Chicago to go there. But anyway, so over in the used bin, I picked up um, Sabotage, Power of the Night. What a great album. I mean, I have this on cassette and CD, never had it on vinyl. And I got to get the stickers off and clean it up a little bit, put it in some plastic. But uh, man, John and Chris Olivia, they just rip it up on this. And um, one of my great 80s metal albums, I love this. So that was a cool find. Then I bought two more that were, um, you know, actually brand new sealed records out of 2013. Picked up uh, Megadeth Super Collider, cool gatefold album. I'm a huge Megadeth fan. I'm going to vote for Dave Mustaine for president. But anyway, uh, this isn't thrashy. It's not your normal Megadeth stuff. It's very hard rock, but man, I love it. I can't stop listening to it, you know? Super Collider, the, the, you know, the title song is great. And uh, Burn, Baby Burn on this. It's a great album. Good album. And last but not least, by any means, is the new Queensryche record. The self title record. Now, this is the, you know, the Queensryche version without Jeff Tate. Another gatefold album. And I was kind of uh, skeptical about this, man, you know, with the uh, new singer Todd Latore in it, or Todd Latour. I'm not sure how you pronounce his name yet. But this is a really good record. And even right, the stick right on it says, uh, you know, a return to form. That's so true, because this is getting back to good Queensryche sound of music. So I was happy to pick this up, and uh, I am not disappointed in this at all either. So... But anyway, that's what I have going on. Again, I appreciate everybody, you know, texting me and PMing me. And, and again, I wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. And um, hope you all eat a lot of turkey and sleep a lot and watch some football. So I'll get some videos out when Christmas comes up. You know, you all know I'm a huge Christmas nut. So that's what's been going on. Hope you all take care and have a great night. See you.